Hey guys, this is Nelvin Cover coming at you with another game, and this is a very special game. This is actually uh, one of the first played and, and first for sure recorded games of the High Five Invitational 2. Um, right now we have got Mr. Popo, the pink Terran, and Juryok, the um, yellow Zerg. So uh, this is going to be a great game. Um, though both of these players are participating in the HFI2 and both are actually playing as random. Um, for the HFI2 we have, uh, because we've gotten a lot of uh, newbie players and we've also gotten a uh, several uh, higher end players, a lot, a lot of great talent. Um, we have actually asked if, uh, if people wouldn't mind playing random if they are higher ranked. So both these players are playing random, um, so that, that lets us know that number one, they don't know which race uh, each other is, and number two, um, they of course um, are, are very good players because we, we have asked them to play random. So uh, this is going to be great. Mr. Popo is pretty good with Terran. I think that is his, uh, his favorite race. And uh, I know Juriak is, uh, he's a diamond, like, I think top 10 uh, ranked uh, uh, player. Um, but I do know his main race is Protoss. I'm not sure how he is with Zerg. I uh, haven't seen him play a whole lot. So um, that is going to be something that uh, we will see. And it looks like he is going for a fast expansion here. Um, getting that hatchery down before his pool, before any gas. Uh, did do that uh, extractor trick there. But uh, it looks like Mr. Popo does of course uh, his SEV did go under this overlord so he does know he is going to play against random so he is uh, he does already have um, looks like we're lagging just a bit but uh, Mr. Popo is going to be able to wall off and right now he does see this overlord so he knows the drag is here he does spot that expansion um, right there he does spot that and I'm uh, gonna go ahead and see what uh, Driak is doing, throwing out his spawning pool. Uh, let me actually open this production tab. Throwing out his spawn pool and one gas. So we could see anything from Zerglings with speed to roaches to lots of different things from this. Uh, until he gets uh, his second gas, we won't know uh, exactly when he plans on teching here at this point. So looks like um, that Popo is actually going for a Makarox. Uh, if you do not follow the GSL, uh, then you uh, may not actually get that reference. But that um, that actually is when you build your second barracks out here, um, away from everything else. So that, for instance, um, if you are trying to um, to spot, actually, this overlord does happen to just spot that. But normally, that would not have been seen. Um, the scout would not have seen that, and that looks like Drek was maybe trying to plan and steal uh, this gas here. However, the second gas was already being built so we do see two gases um, from Mr. Popo and we don't see a factory yet so um, probably not gonna go for anything crazy um, such as uh, Banshees, a Banshee Rush or anything like that but uh, we could see something obviously something very uh, higher tech we do see alright I do know Mr. Popo has been following the GSL um, and he has been keeping up with exactly what kind of strategies that are going on. Um, and uh, I think Fake Boxer has been using the strategy. It's like a three, um, three marine and uh, one or two SCV rush, and just uh, throwing down at barracks. Just as a spine crawler comes out, this queen, however, is there, and uh, uh, these marines can kill this queen by themselves. However. Um, unless they can actually get in this bunker, they will go down. It looks like this spine collar and these other are able to hold off this bunker. Uh, Ms. Popo does actually uh, cancel that bunker, at, but the SCVs uh, d does die. Uh, this Marine actually is going to die little by little here um, in the middle of the map. So that was very, very gutsy. Putting on that early pressure, which is exactly what Mr. Popo does need to do at this point because, of course, he, um, he's got to try to punish this early expansion that Juriak has. So very, very ballsy, but uh, hopefully that will pay off. And of course, Mr. Popo cannot see this Overlord right here. He, uh, he cannot shoot it down. He does not know that Juriak knows is there. So right now, Juriak is massing up uh, several uh, Zerglings and it looks like is moving out with those. Uh, right now, the, uh, the wall is down, but there is a gap in it. 
Uh, these Marines right here are not enough, I don't think, to hold off these Zerglings. These Zerglings could be overrun by, however, um, trying to micro a little bit. However, if trying to expand at the same time, these Zerglings are able to take that out. And this actually could be GG uh, if Mr. Popo doesn't pull off some of his SCVs, and he does GG. So, great first game um, from Juriak and Popo. Very, uh, very action-packed, and looking forward to bringing some more games with HFI, too. So, without further ado, this is Alm Gover signing off.